Yep. Now you're gonna have to spend fifty-nine dollars to charge your iPhone 10 faster. Let's get into it. Hey guys. Yep, the iPhone 10 has released. Well, it has one feature that Apple didn't explain or never said a word about it except when you go to the Apple website I will show you that has fast charge it will charge your phone out from 0 to 50 percent in just half an hour that is ridiculously fast but there's a catch always a catch you need to spend $59 buying this 29 watt power adapter uh, from Apple which is also USB-C which means you also need to spend another $25 to get this USB-C to lightning cable I already bought this because I have a MacBook Pro uh, 2017 which means obviously you're gonna need one of these to charge your or connect to your iPhone 7 to your Mac but we're here for this the 29 volt power adapter so there are some questions so first of all let me go into it so the question being can you charge your iPhone 7 or 6 with this cable well when I asked the Apple store employees they said it, it, they, they were not even clear about it so it's kind of here and there so let's look at the box it got well it says 29 watt USB-C power adapter I will say in different languages of course and it specify right there it's from a MacBook to the not just a regular MacBook to this well you can also use it for the new iPhone 10 and the front I just have the picture and of course $29 that's a big price tag well if you're willing to spend $1,700 on an iPhone which at least in Canada we, this is nothing which well yeah anyways let's get in so in the box in here we got mm, yep got this and this really nice oh <clears throat> Apple certainly do some great packaging I oh, guess some literature information well it's it's not a rocket science just put your damn USB-C cable in and lightning to your iPhone and that's it but anyways here it is lift it up and uh, it's wrapped in this frosted thing obviously so let's take a look at the specs well how many watts and stuff so right here it says designed by Apple in California and built in China obviously model number blah 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 output 14.5 volts and ooh, or 5.2 volts I think I could charge my iPhone 7 with this I'm not too sure about that I may have to bring up a guinea pig which I happen to have my old iPod Touch fourth generation or fifth I don't know what it is which also has a USB I mean a lightning connector so this should work just fine let's just try it out right so I got this over here I also got this USB-C to lightning cable plug that in just like that now power outlet right here put it there and here goes nothing if it dies well it dies will it charge actually it can and so far the battery hasn't blown up so that's a good thing and uh, I think you can charge your iPhone 7 and 6 with the 29 watt power adapter that Apple sells separately for $59 Canadian so 
Here you go, your questions have been answered. You can charge your iPhone or any, well, iPhone or any Apple product with this 29 watt per adapter. Apple should have a system that will prevent uh, extra current flowing through the device. So we all should be fine. That's a great news. So stay tuned, I'll be doing an unboxing, well, a review and unboxing of the iPhone 10 when it comes out. So I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Goodbye.